Today I want to talk about a decision I made at the beginning of the year to try and sew as many hard things as possible. So for a little bit of background, I make most of my own clothing, I sew and I knit, and I was noticing that when I was looking back on the past year or two of sewing, I had made mostly easy things, quick projects, things that I could sew up in a couple days or a day and then wear out and photograph and show and all of that. And while there's lots of room for projects like that, and I do like making projects like that, I think there is something to say for those pieces that take quite a bit of time to make that really take focus and take effort and are a bit of a labor of love and that really challenge your skills. And I hadn't done a whole lot of that last year. Now going forward, I'm feeling really motivated to try and make these hard pieces. And that means things that take a bit more time, more planning, that really get into skills that I haven't tested before and that maybe do things I'm a bit nervous about or have been shying away from in the past. So in order to do that, I have challenged myself to a year of sewing hard things. But before I get into all of that, if you are not yet subscribed, I'd love if you subscribe to this channel. It's a space where I talk about making my own clothes and and sharing my me made wardrobe with you so if that's something that you're into i would love if you follow along now let's get into talking about my year of sewing hard things starting with pants trousers and jeans when i first committed to this year of hard sewing i knew i wanted to add jeans trousers and pants as well as overalls and jumpsuits into this list I absolutely love making pants, but it's something that has made me really nervous. I always find I fumble a little bit with the zip fly. I get really nervous with buttonholes. And something about sewing with thicker fabric just kind of freaks me out, even though I do really like it. And most of all, I love the finished result. All my favorite items that I've made have been pants or overalls. I really have enjoyed the process and I really enjoyed the fit and the final result. It's something that feels so special because to buy these, I know it would be really expensive and I haven't ever found anything that fits me quite the same way that my handmade overalls and jeans do. While I've sewn elasticated pants in the past, this year I really want to focus on tailored trousers, make a really nice pair of tailored trousers, focus more on jeans and pants as well as more overalls and jumpsuits. I have already started my pants making journey this year. I made the shop pant from Open Studio Patterns and I absolutely love how they turned out. They are a great pair of jeans. They fit me perfectly. I really enjoyed the construction of them and I really took my time on them. I love the hem detail and I love my top stitching. I did a contrast top stitching, which always feels really scary, but it's really satisfying and really beautiful and really like quite eye-catching but it is nerve-wracking because you have to go slow and I redid the top stitching so many times because it just wasn't turning out how I wanted to. In the end they look so good I'm super proud of them and I love wearing them. They're really comfy and they fit exactly how I wanted to. So with that I have found this new energy for making pants and I'm feeling really excited about some of the pants and jumpsuit patterns that I have planned so let me tell you about them. The next pair of pants on my list are the Adams pant. I've already got this cut out and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna do it in a sort of like raspberry colored denim that I think is gonna be super, super pretty. And I have been looking at a bunch of fit notes from other sewists who have made these. So these are from daughter Judy. I made her co-trousers last year and I really like them. So this is definitely gonna be one that I do next. Like I said, I've already got them cut out. So I'm excited about tackling that. And hopefully, 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 finally nailing a jeans fly, a button, a zip fly. I, it's something I always struggle with, but I really wanna get it down. As I mentioned, I did make the co-trousers last year, but I would love to make another pair of these. The fit is just impeccable. I'm obsessed with them. I've actually been trying to wear them less because I've been wearing them a lot and they're starting to show signs of wear, which is great. You should wear your clothes, but I do wanna have a, a couple more options to cycle through, which is why I'm on this pants making journey. I, like, I need more pants, <laughs> I don't have a ton. Uh, so. The co-trousers from Daughter Judy, like I said, I made these in like a popcorn denim and I absolutely love them. So I am looking forward to making these maybe in like a canvas or just like a sturdy sort of like broadcloth, maybe in like a blue, like a dark gray blue, something like that is kind of what I have in mind. And then another project that I have in mind is the Harleen overalls from Merchant at Mills. I've got some black canvas that I really have been kind of sitting on. I was gonna make trousers with them, but I didn't want like a pair of like really deep 
black trousers. I just find that that maybe feels a bit like restaurant-y. Um, but black overalls are super wearable and versatile. So I'm gonna make the Harleen overalls. I've heard that these are quite a project. There's a lot of pattern pieces, a lot of tops to jig. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about it because apparently the fit can be a bit tricky, but I feel good about it. I have some guidance from people who have made them before. And again, we're trying to sew hard things. So that's what it's all about, is just challenging ourselves to try to sew things that maybe scare us a little bit. And then the last thing that I'm thinking about is the Mitchell trouser from Closet Core. I really love the deep pleats and the angled pockets. It's got that really cool little belt detail with the straps at the side. I love the wider leg. I think that these would be a really fun challenge. Really beautiful pair of trousers. And I think that it's a great next thing to try and challenge my skills a little bit. The next thing that I've been wanting to do more of is sew button up shirts. So I have recently sewn the Jenna shirt from Closet of core patterns and I absolutely love it. I've been so afraid of button-up shirts but I'm kind of feeling ready to get into it now. I absolutely love my Jenner shirt and I have a few more of these planned. I really like the deep hem and I really like the curvy hem as well. The collar construction was also really satisfying and then the tower placket on the sleeves was just like nah, like I was so impressed with myself. And so with that I really want to try and sew the Jenner shirt from Daughter Judy. It's got a very different vibe from the Closet Core shirt. The Closet Core shirt's a bit more classic the daughter judy shirt is a bit more of like a camp collar a bit more blousy in general so that one is one i really want to try as well as the olia shirt from paper theory that one i've seen on so many people and i just really like the details of it i think it will be a bit of a different construction from the other two and so it will challenge me in a different way and really get me comfortable with sewing button-up shirts which is kind of what i'm after I also really want to get into sewing a proper coat this year. I have had the Bella Loves Patterns Traveler Coat on my list for ages. I've been really wanting to do one in sort of like a baby pink for a really long time, but I haven't found the wool that I like, and I've honestly just kind of been nervous about tackling such a project. So I think at the end of summer that I'm going to put this on my list and I'm going to make a proper, beautiful, structured coat, something really tailored and special that has all the bells and whistles, and I just think that that's kind of what I'm missing and tackling a big project like that I think will feel really really satisfying. And then lastly I'm really interested in trying some different techniques, trying something a little bit out of my comfort zone and for that I really want to do the Robert Woods patchwork bow dress. This looks like it has so many pieces and it looks really complicated but I think that's kind of what's drawing me to it is that it just is so different and special and I know it's going to force me to take my time and slow down but I have a few weddings coming up that I think this would be absolutely perfect for and so this is the kind of thing that I want to try and so I've got all those things that I'm really interested in giving a shot this year trying my hand at more complicated sewing harder sewing so to speak and trying out those projects that kind of scare me and intimidate me but are going to be really rewarding in the end so that's my year of hard sewing i plan on documenting as much of it as i can and taking you along so you can see where i end up how many of these pieces i make and what the whole process is like so if you like this video and you want to watch a bit more you can check out this one right here i think it's a good place for you to learn a little bit more about my own sewing journey and see for yourself what it's like to make your own clothes. I hope you have a good one. Bye!